Welcome to OJ Studios. I hope you enjoy Punishment by Olivia Julius. Chapter 18 Rivals and New Friends You know that odd feeling you get when you feel oddly like a fraud, and you shouldn't be somewhere? Yeah, that's how I feel right now. I am a boy, dressed as a girl, getting on a stage so I could win a girly contest. I was stuck doing all this just because I cut off some of Gracie's hair on Thursday. I could already feel the imposter vibes coming off me. Brittany pulled me up to the stage and I stood next to her as other girls slowly came up. I was given the number 3 and Brittany was given the number 2. The girl that had beat us up to the stage was younger than both Brittany and me. If I had to guess she was just old enough to be in the contest, so she was maybe 7 or 8 years old. She was wearing her hair in a loose ponytail and had a light purple sleeveless dress on. It took me a second to realize where I had seen it from. Then it hit me it was the same type of dress that I had tried on yesterday in Carrie's fashion. Rhea and Emily were the last two to get on the stage. Emily was given number 4 from the mayor and told where to stand. She was wearing her hair in a messy bun and wearing a white dress with a blue open front long sleeve sweater. Her makeup was done almost perfectly making her look both older and prettier than when I last saw her at the shoe shop. If she hadn't been planning on basically throwing the contest in favor of Rhea, then I think she would have a chance at winning. Rhea came on the stage wearing her hair down. It had been curled and professionally styled since I saw her yesterday. Her makeup was also done professionally just like Emily's. She wore a gold long chiffon dress. With cut in shoulders, a scoop neckline adorned with beads and what Rebecca told me later it had the handkerchief hem skirt which was the biggest fashion trend in their little small town. Rhea was also the only one of us who wasn't wearing tights. On her feet were long high-heeled sandals that were taller than my heels. I am now nervous. There was no way I could beat Rhea, or Emily, or Brittany or the little girl that was currently waving to the crowd down below, most likely to her parents. I'll probably end up like Aaron Tipton and be the second boy in history to get dead last in the Easter Princess contest. Good luck! Brittany whispered. I thought she was talking to me but when I looked over to her, she was bent forward to say it to Rhea and Emily. Oh, little girl, I don't need luck. Rhea whispered back while looking at her freshly manicured nails. I'm a legacy at this place. My sister won Easter Princess and last year was Easter Queen. This contest is already in the bag. You should just leave now. You and your little tomboy friend. We will see, Brittany said. I'll wave at you when I win Easter Princess then. Oh, and don't even think about being running up that will go to my friend Amanda. Brittany held my hand and lifted it up in the air. We got this. Brittany whispered in my ear before letting my arm down. I gave her a smile and nodded. We got this. I repeated a little bit more convinced. I looked back at Rhea, yes, her sister winning might make her think she's legacy. But has she ever tried to win both Easter Princess and Easter Prince before? Besides Rebecca also won Easter Princess and Easter Queen doesn't that make me somehow a legacy too? There was a new fire in me that wanted nothing less than to see Rhea walk off this stage with a participation ribbon. I was going to be the new Easter Princess or at least runner-up. Good luck! I whispered to Brittany taking her hand into mine. You, too! She whispered back squeezing my hand. The mayor walked by us and handed us each a note card and a pen. Okay ladies write down your name, your age, city you live in, and your parents' name. Give them back to me and I'll read it off when I introduce you. We all took the note cards and wrote our names on it. After I got done writing my info on the card, I looked over to the little girl who was having problems writing the city that she lived in. I got onto my knees in front of her and asked if she needed help with her card. She shyly nodded and handed the card over to me. On her card I could see her name was Jessica Collins and she was 7 years old. Where are you from? I whispered so only her, and I could hear. Saint. Louis? She whispered back quietly. I quickly wrote it down on the note card. What's your mom and dad's name? I asked. I only got a dad. She said sadly, his name is Richard. I wrote down Richard Collins and gave her back the card. Jessica took it and walked it over to the mayor who added it with the other cards. Thanks. Jessica whispered while heading back to her spot. I nodded my head and stood up straight. 
I scanned the crowd and found mom and dad sitting in the back row. They had their video camera focused on me as they waited for the mayor to start the contest. Butterflies grew in me as I tried to focus on what I had to do.